Okay, here's my first Android app that I made. Uh, it's a pretty simple app. It gives you your uh, Wi-Fi IP and then external IP. Uh, it's for Android and it's based. It runs off the Adobe Air runtime on Android. And so I'm going to show you guys how uh, I made it. So uh, first off, you need to get some software. And we'll need the Adobe Flash Builder Burrito. It's a pre-release. So just head over to labs.adobe.com. And over on this side, you'll see Flash Builder Burrito. I think the version number is 4.5 because there's Flash Builder 4. And then this is 4.5. But uh, with this, you'll be able to start developing Android apps. So uh, let's look at one thing we need. We need a web server that runs PHP and here's our PHP script and all it does is echoes out the remote address of whatever computer is trying to connect to the script so if we go to uh, this page and uh, go to the URL here we can see it just echoes out this IP so now that we have that uploaded um, We'll need this URL here. Alright, so now we can go into Flash Builder Burrito. And we'll click up here and we want Flex Mobile Project. And we'll come up with a name IP Tutorial. We'll hit Next. We can see our target platform it is Google Android Mobile Application Template. Uh, we don't want automatically reorient and uh, full screen we don't need it next next and one thing I do on this application ID we do a reverse URL so we just do com.cm.ip tutorial and finish so this will get us into our workspace and we can see our package explorer over here on the left uh, in our source source folder we have a default package and uh, this is this uh, view right here and this is the main application package uh, or file uh, and we can see in its header first view is views.ip tutorial home so this doesn't get displayed it just reroutes it to our first view and our views are uh, the different views of the application so we'll go down here to views IP tutorial home and this is our first view and so this is where we begin there's two uh, different ways to lay out your UI you can do it in source or you can go into design here and uh, work out of this and you can set your what phone you want to target if any and you can see different orientations so it's good for prototyping but we'll work out a source mode and uh, all we need here is we need to set our layout so we'll start out with a layout tag and flash builder has great code completion so we'll always use that and we'll end this tag right there so we can uh, add in the layout, what type of layout we want. And we want a vertical layout. And we'll add paddings all across uh, five pixels. And then we'll finish this tag off, close it. So now that we have a vertical layout, we need to put in our text uh, input that will display our IP. So we'll start our text input. We need to give it an ID of IP display. We'll do the width, and because there's so many different Android devices, we want to use a width that will adjust to whatever the screen size is. So we can just put 100% in there. And height, I uh, will use 60. And we can add our font size right in here so we can have 50 point font in this 60 uh, pixel high text input and 
that should be all. Now, let's add a spacer in here and adjust its height to be 125, and that's all we need there. So now we need a button that we use to get our IP. So we'll add a button ID. We'll call this get IP. We need a label in our button. So get IP is our label. Our width, same thing as the text box, 100%. And that's all for now. Uh, we can go ahead and do our event. And what you'll notice in Flash Builder is the green circles. These are properties of the button. So we have properties like its content, uh, depth, height, and anything with a lightning bolt is an event. So there are a ton of events in ActionScript and Flex, but we want the click event. And if we use code completion, we just go down to click, hit enter. And if we want it to automatically generate a click handler for us, we can hit enter again and it adds this script block. So inside the script block is where all of our action script code goes. So now that we have this, we will move on to the coding part.